Good morning, fam. I just wanted to show you some integration that I have been working on here for WhatsApp. So this is just a test uh, environment here that I have here. So it's not anything major, really. It's not something that uh, it's it's in production. It's just an integration that have I have worked on. But of course, we have other things that are on production using the same concept. Here, I want to show you how it is working so that you can figure out how this can be of use to your business and of course if you're interested just drop me a line now this is whatsapp and here i have a frappe application with just two students so this is basically a student document that i have created for test again and then here i have two students so one with an admission number 8989 and the other one with an admission number 1234 so i'll come to my whatsapp here and i'll type the name hello and when I do that, um, the system is going to respond and tell me, I didn't understand that. Try sending fee to check fee balance of a student or max to enter max for a student. Okay, let's do fee. And when we do that, the system responds by telling me to provide the admission number of the student. Okay, let's do 8989 and see 8989, send it. And when we do that, the system responds by fetching the the name of the parent the name of the student the fee balance and sends it directly into whatsapp so this came from here let me show you if i open here this is the admission number this is the student name this is the parent name and this is the fee balance if you think this is a joke change this fee balance to something like 4500 and you can change this to something else like current all right you see here we had two names let me save that and then I'll come back here and enter fee again. And then I'll enter the same 8989 and send. That's going to come in with to come back with new information. You see that? The parent is this, this is the student, and this is the fee balance. So that gets that information directly from a Frappe application. Now, if you think you have seen it all, you haven't actually. Let me show you. Here, I also created a document called Max student max list and currently you see we don't have max and you remember when we entered hello here so we can enter again hello or even anything like karani basically something that is not either fee or max is going to tell you doesn't understand because i have coded it to only understand fee and max so now let's tell it we want to enter max and then it's going to tell us pre provide provide the animation number of the student we can do the same in 989 and you can do the student by the way and then please provide the max score by the student okay max let's just get something like 67 and then we enter just to watch what happens here ladies and gentlemen as you watch the the record comes in so what we have done here we have entered something from WhatsApp, and it has just popped up into uh, a frappe application so you can imagine the power that you have there so you can basically interact from you can allow users to interact from your whatsapp and they are going to be querying data that is directly into your system that's number one number two you can even allow people to enter data into the system this can be useful where you are probably doing collections of stuff so you would like uh, someone to enter that actually they have collected something like for instance um, an ex a good example is when people are collecting uh, you have people collecting things from different points and you want every time they go to collect they enter that information into the system and you can now extend this to go to any extent so again if you'd like us to talk and see how we can make that useful for your business you can contact us on upersoft this is upersoft.com just go to the contact us page and then drop us a line there thank you so much and i hope to see you in my next video